If your body never feels safe, no matter how much therapy you do, I'm going to give you three neuroscience backed reasons why I'm Jenna. I'm a clinical and molecular neuroscientist and a licensed therapist. And I study the way the brain and the body communicate and how those conversations shape your physical and mental health. Because the biggest lie that we've been told is that the mind and the body are separate. So follow along if that's of interest to you, if you want to learn the science behind how to rewire your body body and brain from the cellular level all the way up to your daily behavior so that you can finally change your life and the things that you struggle with without spending years or hundreds of thousands of dollars talking about it. So number one, your insular cortex, which is the part of your brain that maps sensation, fails to map safety through touch. Number two is that C tactile fibers, which are the fibers that run from your skin to up to your brain, especially around the, the hairy parts of your brain, of your skin, send signals up to your brain and in trauma, especially childhood trauma, they're supposed to send calming signals to the brain, but they can get dysregulated in trauma. So it's like they start processing things as more of a threat. They start processing touch as more of a threat and they can absolutely get scrambled and underdeveloped by early neglect. So your brain will get stuck in like a chronic hypervigilance, even when you know theoretically or intellectually that you're okay, your body's not actually registering that because the neurons are not actually trained to take in safety. And one of the ways that you learn safety, especially as a child, is through healthy, safe, adequate touch and adequate amounts of touch. And number three is that neuroimaging studies also show that there's hypoactivity in the insular cortex and related regions in people with childhood trauma. So again, there's just a lack of activity or not enough activity happening in the insular cortex. And so people are struggled to feel their bodies. They can't interocept, which is the tracking of, again, the tracking of sensation. This also will mean that the body can't access your, let's call it like your safety file. It's like, it doesn't, it's like you try to open that file on your computer and it says the file's corrupted. It's like <laughs> nothing's happening, right? 